the platform business model has been changing human's daily life and also how people are doing business. So understanding more about platform strategy will help you to grow your business and make a long-term success. Platform strategy refers to the strategy that allows companies to make profit from connecting the two-sided of users and, and sustain the first mover advantage. The two-sided market means that uh, the company needs to uh, simultaneously attract two kinds of users to the platform and then make profit from it. The advantage is that you can charge one side and then subsidize the other side. For example, traditionally we think about the uh, business on the vertical chain concept. For example, Google. So who is Google's consumer? Usually we say we, we are the consumer, we, the, the, the network users who search on Google are the Google's uh, users. But do we pay? No, we are consumers but we don't pay. So who pay for it? Merchants. Merchants pay for the advertisement fee. But the merchants become Google's consumers. Then who are we? The network users. Then we become suppliers. No, we are not suppliers, right? So it becomes difficult for the traditional vertical chain concept to analyze the new business model. Therefore, the two-sided market can provide a better view uh, to explain some new business model, for example, like Google. So merchants and the network searchers are all users for, the, for Google. Therefore, uh, Google subsidizes the users like us, but they charge from the merchants. Network externality means that the utility of the consumer or users will increase when the other users are using the same products or same service. Why do you want to use micro Brack, WeChat, WeChat? Because all my friends are using WeChat, therefore we want to use WeChat. So when others are using these products, then we that increase our utility of using this product. If this happen, then winner will take off because the next customer will choose to enter into the uh, platform that has the largest market share. Therefore, bigger get bigger, and then if you are late, then you has no chance. You has no chance to catch up. A platform business model works quite well in China. For example, Best Buy, the world's largest professional retailers, their business model in China is that they uh, pay for all the merchants at a lower price, at a volume, and then sell it at a high price. The margin can be higher in the other part of the world. But in China, they need to pay for this uh, salesman's salary and they need to pay for the risk of uh, inventory. Therefore, within seven years, they only open seven stores in China because this is a heavy asset investment. On the contrary, the Chinese counterpart, Guomei and Suni, they organize like a department store and they invite the merchants to sell on the platform. And therefore, the merchants need to take care of all the risk of the inventories. And the manufacturers also need to pay for the salaries. And Guomei does not need to pay anything. Therefore, Guomei is a very light asset invest uh, model. And then uh, in the last 10 years, Guomei and Suni opened 1,000 stores. Business in the traditional industry has been trying to implement some of the thought from the platform business model. For example, the disco pub has this kind of Wednesday ladies night. So lady came on Wednesday night for free. So if women are free, who does this club charge? Men, right? So you can see on Wednesday night, there will be three or five times of the men coming to the, the club because there are many women who come to the club. 
So the platform business model allow us to do the flexibility in pricing and then make more money. Another example is the executive education in China. It has been transformed into a CEO club. The schools like CEIBS or Changkang increase their tuition like 15% every year in the last 10 years. And also more and more people would like to join this club. This is the effect of the network externality. When more people are enjoying this product, they are willing to pay more in order to get admitted into this platform. We will be offering an open enrollment program in October. And in this platform strategy program, we will provide the framework on how to develop in a platform by yourself. Our target participants will be the entrepreneurs who like to develop the platform business model, but they don't know how to do that. Or second, maybe the big companies who want to transform their business model from traditional into more innovative. So the first subject we will touch will be how to design the platform framework. For example, how do you define your user group? And then which side do you charge? Which side do you subsidize? Do you want to make it open or do you want to make it proprietary? And the second is that we will talk about the growth. How to grow this your platform? For example, there is a chicken and egg issue, right? Which side would you want to grow first? And how do you leverage on the cross-site network functionality to make the other side to come to your platform? How do you define your segment? Is the quality more important or quantity important? And the third is the how to compete is if there is another platform coming up. So how big is the uh, winner take all effect? If the market will become one dominant player with 90% of the market share, then you need to be quick and you need to subsidize earlier than the others.